What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to your favorite beer league podcast for Flint, Michigan, Toon Talk. I'm Connor. As always, we have Timmy, Drop Pass Lewis joining us. And for the first time in a couple of weeks, not a guest, kind of a guest, Tim, right? A little bit of yeah. a guest. Garrett's back. I would back. say so. Weeks. Took two weeks off, recharged the batteries. You do anything fun in your two weeks off, Garrett? Uh, spent some time with the family. Both uh, my side of the family hunting and then my in-laws for Thanksgiving. So got to put in the time, got to put in the time. Wasn't Thanksgiving on Thursday, Gary? What were you doing? Are you, oh. they, they drove from New York. So they got here. They got here on Tuesday. Mm. So when I was like, hey, Kel, can I do my podcast? She looks at me. She's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> you're get in at like six. You're not going to say hello and then record a podcast with your friends. I'm like, you know, you're not wrong. Do your so, in-laws know how many subscribers and how many viewers we have? You know, I was plugging it the entire time they were here and they had zero interest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was kind of checking the numbers. Our last two uh, episodes without Garrett were over 60 views on YouTube. Maybe there's something there, Tim. I don't know. Uh, who knows? We'll, we'll see. I'll tell you what. We'll see how this how this week's episode does. If it, you know, if the numbers are a little lower, we'll there might need to be a conversation. I'm going to like get in one of those Russian websites and pay somebody to just oh. <laughs> I get the Reddit bump. Yeah. Yeah. I'll throw it on Reddit again. Hey, yo, uh, <laughs> anybody have any suggestions for this podcast? Oh, uh, just pump the numbers up guys. I need more, I need more views on this. Otherwise I'm going to get kicked off. <laughs> that actually might get some hits. <laughs> yeah. Um, I saw, so Ben, who was on last week, listens uh, on Spotify primarily and Spotify released their, um, like year wrap up where they show you like the bands and the songs you listen to the most throughout the year. And his, it, they give you the top five podcasts that you listen to. And his first four or his first two were like spit and chicklets and pardon my take, like two of the biggest sports podcasts in the world. His next two were Tottenham hotspur podcast, which is, like, which is his favorite soccer team. And number five, tune talk. <laughs> I'll take it. So take, yeah. I don't know if he just only listens to five podcasts and that's why we're number five, but Hey, we're on a, somebody's top five list. We're, what is, we said this is episode 13. So that is correct. You know, I'll take a fifth place. Yeah. Most of the year. I like it. Yeah. We've only been out for like what? Three, three months, months now. Yeah. If that. This is our 13th week. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that? Holy <laughs> That's you know what Garrett. That's why we have an accountant on the show. Yeah, right there for shit, shit like that. That's one episode per week. <laughs> wow, <laughs> boy oh boy, love it. Um, all right. Do we want to talk about the game? I don't really want to talk about the game to be honest. We got to get into it. Do we have to? Yeah. Yeah, have to. We got to talk about Snipe City here. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll tell you what. You can't score all the goals. I kind of I feel your pain a little bit last uh, last Sunday. <laughs> And, uh, you know, that that goal early, first shift, nice little pass from you, too, to Reader. Reader had a little dump to me. A little backhand sauce, yeah. I saw my opportunity, put it top titty, not quite bar down ski, but put it right over his shoulder. He got it, uh, Brendan got a tip, just kind of fluttered in, gave a little selly. What do I hear? Nothing. (laughs) I like how I like how this started as top titty and then it eventually evolved to he kind of it kind of deflected off the goalie's glove and it fluttered in. <laughs> it probably squeaked in five full or yeah, something. Yeah, nobody on the bench saw it. So and you can barely see it in the the video highlight. It looks like you just like waved at the puck and it, you just raised your hands three seconds later. <laughs> A goal. They don't, hey, yeah, you're right. You gotta sell it. You gotta they sell don't, it. They don't ask how. They ask how many. There you go. Um. But so, other Garrett, than that, so that was the that was on the second shift of the game, and then we didn't do anything for the rest of the for the rest of the game. Yeah, we didn't have. I think I had maybe one more opportunity actually, like the next shift, and I was feeling good after that. And then after that, just yeah, it was a it was an ugly game. It was just I think a lot of the guys had a little bit of a Thanksgiving uh, Thanksgiving hangover. Too much turkey, too much stuffing. Yeah, slow. We had a hard time getting the puck out. We were missing passes. Uh, I mean, I don't think we had. 10 shots on net. Maybe. I don't think so either. Maybe I'd be, surpri- six. I'd be surprised if we did. Yeah. I mean, it was an ugly Bray. And the, the, the worst part about it was Bray stood on his head. He made some <laughs> awesome saves. There are two goals where they both like banked him in, banked him in off him behind the goal line, like fluky, fluky 
solid shots or anything. It was just like the, the second one, especially it was, he didn't know where it was at and it just kind of, I think it was like between his legs and yeah, tripped. they just, went yeah, to go. they just like threw it, threw it from behind the net and it just took a weird bounce and went in off his skate. And yeah, yeah I mean, I said and, in the locker room after the game, I said, if we could give out the game chain, it was 100% going to Bray. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he, he kept, he kept us in at the whole game, made some awesome saves. That was probably Bray's best game of the year in goal. I would say. Yeah, I would agree. Um, which again, just sucks because we couldn't, couldn't put some more pucks in the net for him. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, kind of one of those games. I'll be honest. I already just kind of blocked out of my head forgetting about it move on to the next one and uh see what we can do this coming sunday any other thoughts oh i guess we have to bring up i mean what are we doing with the drop passes <laughs> i mean what are, what are, i mean it's just we had like two or three that i could find in the highlight video we're just drop passing them to nobody or <laughs> drop passing them in tim's case because a guy on the other team calls for a drop pass <laughs> I was, I was telling somebody, I said, that was the first time I've ever heard anybody yell, drop it, drop it, drop it. <laughs> and you thought, and you just assumed it was someone on our team. Let's be clear about something too. It wasn't like he was playing with, you know, somebody that he doesn't really yeah. know. Oh, he right. Eric and Adam, by the people he knows best on the and the team. 100%. And, yeah, <laughs> decides to pass for the other team. A hey, yeah. case in point why I should never be bringing the puck in the zone. It was point one of that, the whole clip at that point. You bring in the puck from our blue line. Eric and Adam were like hanging out, waiting for you. <laughs> it was the one of the worst hockey plays I've ever seen. Tim carried the puck from our blue line to their blue line. And Adam and Eric were standing on their blue line for no less than three seconds, waiting for Tim to get the puck into the zone. Tim takes three strides into the zone. Here's a guy on their team yelled, Pat, drop, 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 and then immediately drop passes it to him. I've never seen Eric more exasperated. He was just like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't even know. What are you going to do? Uh, I will say uh, I feel extremely vindicated in my complaints earlier on in the season, Garrett. Uh, I talked to Adam after the game who had to center Eric and Tim, and he said there was an, a stark and immediate difference from when he was playing with Eric and Tim in the first period to when he was playing with other lines in the second and the third period, he said, I was actually getting passes on my stick. We were moving the puck. I wasn't back checking every three seconds because we were getting the puck in deep and getting chances. So, I mean, we made the joke a couple of weeks ago that I'm basically playing with Bob Probert and Ogie Oglethorpe out there, just goons with no hands. And now another center has come along and shared the same thoughts. So Fool me once, I guess, you know. Is it time is it time to break up Tim and Eric? Is it time? Well, Does the experiment I know we run its course? About, I, we talked about putting me with Embry. And then obviously with Adam jumping in this week, we kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit. But we talked about, you know, changing up the lines a little bit. We did, which, uh, you know, do we want to – we'll save for the next season – or next season, the next episode, because we might have a, a tune factor in effect next game depending on uh, – how it shakes out and who shows up. So we'll see. Yeah, I true. Think, I think, uh, I think it might be time to try and try and shake things up a little bit. Guys might be getting a little bit too complacent. I know a couple guys have expressed interest in maybe moving around a little bit, moving, you know, back to four or back to defense or up to forward. So we'll see what we can do. See if we can get some guys in some different positions to, uh, to accentuate their strengths and uh, kind of downplay their weaknesses. So we'll see how that goes. Spoiler alert, Tim's going to be running the door. <laughs> yes, which we have, which we know he's good at. We'll, we'll cover that a little later. Um, but we do have our newest segment, which we did last week. Uh, the Raw Meat Play of the Week. Somebody's been feeding Johnny Raw Meat. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah. And that goes to Adam. Wow. Uh, guest guest sure. Goonie, guest oh. Goonie Tune, Adam. Uh, which he is on the roster, by the way, he is on the roster. Uh, <laughs> we have many people who are Adam McLean, but he is the real Adam McLean. Yes. Yep. Um, just a great play. Bray lost his stick in a scrum. It was kind of laying out in the middle, uh, in, in, uh, in the middle of one of the, the faceoff circles down in our end as the puck got broken out, Adam grabbed his stick, skated it back over to him. Just a solid kind of teamwork, kind of raw meat play. Uh, 
as Adam, the other actual Goonie tunes skate around and just think, yeah. <laughs> Adam told me after the game, he he was like, I looked around and uh, I was like, why am I the one picking up this stick for him? <laughs> I was like, well, that's Goonie tunes. For I was gonna you. say, I guarantee you, it never even crossed the other four guys on the ice mines. Probably not. Wrong. There's no, there's no chance. There's no chance. But yeah, kudos to Adam, our second recipient of the raw meat play of the week. And uh, hope to have him back. I know he was talking about maybe skating with us around Christmas when he's back again for the Christmas holiday. So uh, he is always a welcome addition to the Goonie Tunes. He brings uh, he brings an interesting dynamic to the locker room, wouldn't you say, Garrett? Oh yeah, yeah. There's definitely some uh, peacocking going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Adam when Adam comes around, there's a couple guys on the team who've known him for a while and uh, think they have to impress him, so they start talking up a little bit to uh, to some of the guys on the team. I won't say any names. But um, he has been a guest on this show, um, and, he, and, he, and he is also related to uh, Garrett and I. So we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> could be. Yeah. yeah, you know, who could be anybody. Um, I guess we already covered uh, – what do we got? Oh, yeah, obviously no game chain, didn't win. But like Tim said, probably would have gone to Bray in the event that we were able to pull our heads out of our asses and do something with it. Tim, I mean, you were complaining about getting the gong goblet in the locker room when you got it and then three minutes later you were like yeah i dropped past it to a guy on their team because he called for it <laughs> i don't know with the way reader was playing i felt like he should have got it back no reader played a great game i, I thought, thought reader played a really good game mm. he, he had a couple i mean i'll tell you what so i okay. didn't put it i didn't put it in the video because it wasn't really like anything but that penalty he got called for when there was a you know coincidental penalties or whatever absolutely i've gotten a penalty for that the guy literally they, like, they were both going for the puck the guy like got his stick wrapped up in him and like took reader around and they both yeah. got called for penalties you know it's men's league There's, it's going to get a little chippy i've got no problem with that and you know reader has a little bit of an edge to his game so sometimes you know you kind of teeter on either side of it but i thought reader played a really good game it has been for the last couple of weeks yeah what what, what do you got drop, no, drop I got, pass? I, I, who else I got nothing <laughs> Adam, you know, no, he was trying to, you know, pick fights and all that good stuff. Oh, but. Reader was trying to pick fights. From the guy that had somebody run into you. You <laughs> no, yeah, Jim, Jim, you ran into a guy and then slashed. Oh, I him. did not. I, oh, I did not. It's in the highlight video. You can see it. It is. I, I literally titled it for all the clips I pull. I called it. I titled it Timmy Tough Guy. Because <laughs> the I guy, the guy, like the guy, like accidentally ran into you. And then you turn around two hand him in the shins and then scream. I think you scream something about his mom or about how he, I can't, I honestly, it was one of the worst shirts ever. It was, or no, I, that might've been a different incident. but that was a different shirt. Uh, I had a solid shirt later in the game. So chirp of the, uh, the year candidate. Do you kiss your brother with that mouth? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Eric, Eric at one point stuck with a simple, you suck 14. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we're we're talking about chirps, so we skate last Tuesday, and uh, we're kind of just messing around. And uh, Tyler and I were standing by the blue line and whatnot. And I said, "Hey, do you think you can hit the crossbar from the blue line?" So he rips a clapper, doesn't hit it like close, and then he's like, "All right, I'll try for real this time," and takes a wrist shot. Second try, like hits it. So Bice goes. Uh, Tyler can hit the crossbar from the blue line, but can't hit the net on a breakaway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Down like Tyler can hit the <laughs> <laughs> I had to write, I like typed it out like right after we got off the ice because I'm like, okay, I have to remember this. Been sitting at it for a week. <laughs> yeah, that's solid. it was solid. That's solid. Um, and shoot, even uh, Garrett, your mom's throwing some shade out there. Yeah, she's just concerned about the team. She wants to make sure everybody knows, you know, that, you know, go ahead and throw the picture up. Yeah, we'll throw it up. It was out for two weeks, you know. Some people we were, were, we were worried about you. We were, yeah. we didn't, we, you know, we're concerned. That's, you know, I even, somebody even called Bice on 911 and asked if they could look into it. But Davison, I'm down here in Farmington. So, you know, jurisdiction issues. Yeah. They called Bice on 911. <laughs> Oh, no. that's that's how that that's how that works i actually have vice's number excuse me 911 can i talk to vice 
<laughs> but anyway, so my mother informed the Instagram page, which I don't have an Instagram, but uh, she informed yeah. We, we threw up a missing persons uh, photo. Tim, I've already then, Tim, I've already thrown up the the. the I know uh, there's some post uh, recording editing that happens, but I've already thrown up the photo, so everyone knows what, what what we're talking about. Okay, so did you throw up her comment as well? Oh, absolutely. Okay, perfect. So yeah, <laughs> two thumbs so thanks, up. Thanks, thanks to Aunt Kathy. Uh, we appreciate that update, and look at that, we found him. So it You're obviously right? helped. It obviously didn't hurt. Yeah. If anything, it helped. Yeah. So. He's back, although, yeah, well, I mean, like we said, we'll see how this episode does. Um, oh, right. I got to call Bice out, though. Oh, great. So, so before we have that little, you know, hey, can you hit the crossbar or whatever, uh, Bice goes, uh, hey, next beer on me, after, you know, anybody that can hit the crossbar. First one hit the crossbar. So Tyler hits it, and Bice goes, yeah, I got you after we get off. Five minutes later, Bice goes, Hey, I got to bail. I got to run. Like, does not buy Tyler his beer. <laughs> that was my mother calling nine one one. Yeah. Bice <laughs> well, is a Kathy Fridline who says her son is missing. Do you know anything about this? I got to go. I'm sure he'll get him. Bice is always good for one more. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong about that. So, um, well, I guess I mean. Tim, you got the goblet. Yep. So you, we had a little, is this your second interview or your first? Second. Oh, wow. Two timers. So you and Buckley are getting to know each other pretty well then. Oh yeah. All right. Well, we will uh, throw it over to Tim's second interview with Buckley this season. And we will talk to everybody after that. Buckley here with uh, Toon Talk host, Tim Lewis uh, and the Gong Goblet. Tim, uh, you want to go over why you got the Gong Goblet? I had a bad drop pass. Uh, I guess Tyler didn't see the tape on what Reader did out there, but somebody had to get it, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you look a little slow. Uh, how was Thanksgiving? Uh, stuffed. Stuffed? Okay, name uh, your top three favorite foods for Thanksgiving. Go. Uh, probably mashed potatoes, ham, and I'll say... Mm. I'll say rolls. Ham, interesting choice. Kind of, kind of weird. You look like a person that likes their chicken tenders and uh, French fries. Always with ketchup. Only, All right, ketchup. only ketchup. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Buckley. Uh, Tim, I gotta ask, what's going on with that tank top that you were wearing? In that, you know, oh. you don't. It like does <laughs> if it if it's if there's no fabric on it, then it's not actually a shirt. Well. It, it's my lucky cutoff so oh it's what's lucky what's lucky about it <laughs> you know it's, like, it's, it's yellow it kind of goes with the goonie tune colors it's barely <laughs> yellow dude it's, what? it's actually white when he owned the first bought. <laughs> <laughs> well i did the first interview with no shirt so oh you know. yeah we forgot we actually got flagged for that on youtube they said yeah. it was scarring to children and so we got demonetized yeah. <laughs> so but so we'll see if this one is any worse or any better. Um, I guess we can go really quick and do uh, our little around the league. See how everybody did. We're sitting alone in fourth place at two and two. We got three teams above us. Marcino. All close games this week. Yeah. Yeah. All close games this week. There's the, the dirty work family PT game. We actually stayed. That was the game right after ours and dirty work tied it up three, three with about, six seconds to go right after a family PT goal got called off for offsides. So family PT scored a goal with about 20 seconds to go. That would have sealed the game, but it was offside. So they called it back. Dirty work comes down scores with like six seconds to go and forces an overtime or forces a shootout. So that was a pretty cool game. Um, Mercino's on the struggle bus a little bit. Yeah, now, if I remember correctly, I think that fourth goal was an empty netter, so it was a lot closer than you know the score even tells. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But, so they've got dirty work uh, this coming week, so that should be a good one. I think they play at nine or eight. I don't know either way, but that'll be a good one to watch. Yeah, because we're the late game. Yeah, and we've got family PT this coming week, so that should be fun. <laughs> know a couple of the guys on their team; they're pretty good guys. I don't like playing late games. <laughs> What's that? But hopefully some of their guys don't like playing late games. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice if they had a short bench. I, I already saw we're going to be missing a couple guys, which isn't always the worst thing because, yeah. you know, 15 guys on the bench can get a little yeah, bit tight like we've seen the last Eric. couple weeks. Yeah, people getting upset about, you know, possibility of having to sit one out. I don't know. 
I, I mean, I, do we want to get into that now? Do we want to get into that on the show? I, I think Actually, we do have enough time because I can shut it down right now and just say, nah. So there. <laughs> I, I, so we have 16 skaters on our roster because we just, uh, we our team. Yeah, we have 16 good dudes. Okay. All right. So in the event that everybody shows up, the team policy apparently is that whoever has played the most games has to sit out. Yep. Which this was not voted on, by the way, not voted on. It was, it was unilaterally decided by the team dictator. Yep. Uh, I, I, that, it, that just seems completely backwards to me. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> As, yeah. Can we, can we not? Yeah. I, yeah. A stretching. Yeah. Oh, okay. You did it again. You did it again. <laughs> have to black out your screen when you do that. So we don't get canceled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that just seems completely backward to me. Why are the guys, I being one of them, I think there's like three or four guys that haven't missed a game. Why are we being punished for having made it every game? Because everybody paid the same amount. Right. Yeah. I'm kind of with Connor on this one. Cause oh, okay. so, so put it in the, uh, find the, uh, if you guys can find the complaint box, the Goonie Tune complaint box. Oh, find the Goonie Tune complaint box. Out, Cause I check it every week. So just make sure you can find it. <laughs> Roll it up. Roll it up. <laughs> I just, I, I just, and I know, I know Tim and I aren't the only ones. I just, it's, it, you know, it, whatever. I don't, I, I, again, as Garrett loves to say, I've never seen every swing and dick at a game. So I don't think it'll ever be a problem, but in the event that it is, there will, there will be bloodshed in the Goonie Tunes locker room. We might have to do like a locker boxing tournament last, or like you know first. Okay. It can be between the guys that have played the most games. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the guys that have played the most games are going to form a super team and we're going to kill everybody else. Because I know the guys that have been, I know the guys that have made every game and I'm okay with them on my team. Yeah. So wait, do we, do we want to finish this off? Because I can, we can go back to what I said at the beginning. Which was what? Nah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Whatever. This Bobby is what, has. this is, this is what we have to deal with. Like yeah. I said, Goonie Tunes dictator. Tim, don't do it. Tim. First of being the team mom, okay? So I make the rules. Oh, team mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Team I'll send you to bed with you if you keep that up. Now, uh, what's the next segment? I say, just like up in Mid Midland, let's plow ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think next was uh, we had a couple guys out. Uh, obviously, Brown still recovering from surgery. These other two. Dan, Dan, Let, let's talk about John first. Yeah, because we're gonna go, we're gonna go in on Coglin. I, I can already tell. John apparently got sick for last week when he was playing or something, or two weeks ago. When he fell, he felt kind of funny and threw up on the way home. I guess if it's precautionary and he's like, "I need to take a week," I'm okay with that. He checked out pretty early, correct? Uh, no, not I, really. Oh. It was like Saturday. Like he's oh, maybe, come on, John. It was when I texted him because this is when we were trying to figure out if Adam was going to skate or not. I was check, or texting everybody that still hadn't checked in, and that's when he told me, I think on Saturday. So, but it worked out. Adam, you know, Adam was able to play. You know, we didn't know Dan wasn't going to be there. He was actually checked in for a while. So we were able to sub, you know, John for Adam. I, I guess, know. yeah, I guess if he's being careful, whatever. Just, yeah. you know, all right. What was Dan's excuse? Our game was at 8.15. Didn't he check out at like quarter to eight? It may have been about eight. Yeah. yeah. So I he was in all that. week up until like game time, basically. And then, con then conveniently he checked out at game time. Doing stuff around the house. Like, I Wait, get Really? I get that. I do stuff around the house last minute, too. I'm married and have a one-year-old. I, I don't know if that excuse flies with me. No, that's a no. That's a horrible excuse. Yeah. Dan, take even out if, the if, fucking if, trash early if, in the day. If, if that is the excuse, make up a better excuse because that's a bad excuse. It was a dragon, and I had to fight it. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Then at least we can talk about it on the podcast about how you know what. what, yeah, what a then ridiculous we can tie excuse. it into John's dragon shirt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I had to do some some uh, stuff that, around the house is just brutal. Just yeah. brutal. Especially when it's like last minute. Again, like we don't care if you, I mean, it's fun to make fun of the guys in this segment when they miss, but <laughs> at the end of the day. The difference of having 
either him or Jake Brown back there, that was going to be the game too. Yeah, we did. We did miss them both. I love our, all our guys that play defense, but I think it's pretty apparent that Jake and Dan both move the puck well, can skate the puck when they have to, which makes a huge difference when, uh, when we're missing both of them. We don't really have a ton of mobility on our back end when they're not there, which was pretty apparent on Sunday night. They put me back there. Again. There, there, I don't, there wasn't a lot. There, I mean, there wasn't. 88 on D to 89 once you move me back there. So I gave it that, you know, that, that G Fridline bump. You, you, know, think, you, was, you think you made our defense gave the better? Bump. Yeah. Okay. All right. Gave a little more rest. Yeah, that's true. You did give him more rest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like we said, just, you know, give us advance. Give us a day or two so we know, so we can plan that kind of stuff. There's a lot of planning that go into lines every week. I don't know if anybody you know knows that, but you know, I sit down, I look at the, the other team, what lines they play, you know. So it's 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 a little frustrating when uh, you know you get the whole little check out at the last minute, but uh, we'll make well. Do. You almost had to have a difficult conversation with Adam. You told him to bring his stuff, and then you almost had to renege on it last minute. I, yeah, I told him to bring his stuff. That where does that say he's going to play? That, that if you told him to bring his stuff, there is an extremely implied thing that you're that he's going to play for us. Okay. You would just tell him to bring his stuff if you don't think he's going to play. Okay. So Tim, I'll let you tell Adam to bring his stuff for the Christmas holiday. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't be there, so we'll have a spot open. Yeah, there you uh, go. Perfect. In fact, I looked it up. The, the week I'm going to be gone is a uh, is a bye week for the league, so I won't be missing any games. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, all right. So that's those bums. Uh, Tim, you were you didn't skate Monday night in our barn league. Uh, I did not as well. I was feeling a little bit under the weather um, and decided that skating in 15-degree uh, weather in the snow would probably not help that. Um, but yeah. you uh, – so why couldn't you play again? I had a tattoo appointment Monday that was planned months in advance. Uh, we got, I got done early with it actually. And I ended up texting Craig like, Hey, you know, what time you leave in the guy about seven. I said, Oh, cool. I can at least come and watch support the boys. Uh, I tell you what that they were buzzing. It might've been one of the better games I've seen us play. Really? Yeah. Reader was threading the needle with his passes, scoring some goals. I, I think he said he had three goals and like four assists. Wow. So, yep. Damn. Um, I'm, but, I'm, I'm actually very upset that I missed it. Yeah. You probably would have been an X factor to be honest. Um, we well, had to lead most of the new? game. Um, but they had like a two minute stretch where they just scored like four goals, just, yeah. just making good plays, you know, taking that long shot and just having yeah. to go in. So, um, but I kind of talked to everybody. They said game MVP, definitely going to me, uh, working the door all night long. We'll take your word for it. <laughs> this, yeah. <laughs> this is this is one of the worst pictures I've ever seen someone take before. Yeah, this is this is, would be like if you asked my dad to take a selfie. <laughs> I, I, I asked when Tim when Tim sent this to me and asked me to put it in the show. I, I said, "Can you send me the higher quality one?" And Tim said, "This is the highest quality I have." I, it was cold out there, you know, it's a little shivering a little bit. You try but to, hey, I was there supporting the boys, so. You know, we try to have a certain level of production when it comes to this. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we do. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Later. We'll talk about it offset. Yeah, All we right. will. Fair enough. There might be some changes coming to Tune Talk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's just going to be a PowerPoint in about a week. <laughs> no, no hosts. No, no anything. You have to get the on the email list. And we'll just send it out to you. <laughs> Dudes. <laughs> Dudes. No. Um, uh, but honestly, like just, it was a great game. Good back and forth. Everybody played exceptional. I know we say this every week and hopefully we have, I know we have some people that aren't on the Goonie tunes that listen to the show. So if you're not playing at the barn on Monday nights and you know, guys that play hockey, you need to be playing at the barn on Monday nights. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome time. The setup is so good. I think we just had a fifth team join. So we're looking I for a six team to even things out. Yep. which would be ideal. So we're not just playing the same three teams every three weeks or whatever, but yeah, it's a great time. Um, again, the setup is great, whatever. Yeah. Um, Game MVP, you know, I'll take it. 
kind of cancels out the gong goblet. So <laughs> the being the being the door opener and doing that well does not cancel out drop passing it to a guy <laughs> on the other team. Connor, it just, I think it just he doesn't. Does so next week. Oh yeah, you know what, Garrett? I, 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 Tim, I apologize. I take back what I just said. If you want, you can continue your MVP run, and you can run the door for the Goonie Tunes on Sunday night. What do you think about that, huh, Bud? Uh, we'll talk up. about that later. We'll talk about that off camera. We can't, we can't, we can't just have all of these conversations <laughs> off camera. We're, we're, this is a podcast, boys. We got to have some conversations on camera. That's the whole point. No, we already settled. We're just going to send out the PowerPoint to everybody. <laughs> no, we haven't decided that yet. That's that. That's going to be a conversation for off camera. The, the 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 Tim bench door. Tim, I'll tell you what. We'll get you a cushion so you you're nice and comfy on the bench. We'll Maybe get some you hand some, warmers. Some hand warmers. Yep. Yep. Even a thermos for coffee. And- Ooh, not, Ooh. Uh, not a coffee guy. I'll do hot chocolate though. Little, little, little hot cocoa. Little, yeah. uh, put a little something extra in it. I yeah. think I think you could I think you could enjoy I think you enjoy that quite a bit, Timmy. And I'll tell you if you do it really good, we we'll even put you in the penalty box. <laughs> if uh, let's just let's just try it on Sunday. See how it goes. You know, try it on. See how it fits. If it if it doesn't feel right, then you can skate again in two weeks. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I mean. Say I was a door guy a couple weeks ago, who would have scored? We would have we would have lost four to nothing in some yeah, sort of two. Way, so yeah, I mean, hey, somebody had to break their shutout. Don't don't keep don't. <laughs> how is how is that how is that what, what was it a two or a three game point streak? Ah, uh, who's keeping track? What have you what have you done since Timmy two goals? <laughs> who's keeping track? Uh, uh, we are yeah, actually, right yeah. now. That's what that's what's happening. <laughs> Yeah, like three slides ago, there was a whole stat page. We go over it every week. There was a lot of talk know. on this. A lot of talk on this show. I'm the only guy that scores. I'm on a three game <laughs> point streak. Anymore. Well, been Garrett off, knows the feeling. Been awful quiet since Timmy two goals. We'll see. We'll see. Come Sunday. Okay. Maybe a puck will bounce off you on the door and go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's got an assist sitting on the bench before. I'm sure he can do it again. <laughs> The assist. Tim loved sitting. Tim loved sitting on the bench our first year when the ref was going after somebody scored, being like, "Hey, give two or give three an assist on that. Give two an assist." Now was hey, I can't get this door open. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> pull instead of push. We got three guys standing in front of the door on the ice trying to get on the bench, and Tim's yeah, too many men pulling. penalty. <laughs> well, there was the the very first shift I played on D on Sunday. This reminds me of this. I go to make a change. I think Tom's coming out, but Tom opens the door for me. And then he tries to jump the board, but he gets stuck behind me. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get out. And I'm just like, oh, God. We got Tommy Long Jumper trying to get on the ice. <laughs> I forgot about that until just now. We got to see if we can uh, pull that up. I know exactly when it was. We'll see. If I, we... might, I might have that on the bench cam. I'll look into it. I hope you do. Yeah, yeah it would be I, right. I thought be... he was in a pull of groin trying to make that stretch. <laughs> I'll see if I can find that. Um, all right, what's our oh, our last segment is a little uh, oh, oh before sorry, go that, ahead. go ahead, before that, uh, kind of where we're talking about hockey still, uh, or the games. Um, we thought we had a retirement last week, but turns oh, yeah, out, good call. Uh, Brendan showed up, so he came out of retirement. Uh, it looks like they took his banner down from uh, Crystal Field House, so. They have taken the banner back down, although apparently he is retiring again. He told me he's done again. (laughs) I think think he came out of retirement just to play us. Now he's done. Yeah, I know he Um, was talking about his equipment. I think he said he spent like 50 bucks on his skates, 60 on his stick. Yeah, he said he got a really good deal on his helmet at play play it again. So he said uh, it was a gently used, a goalie only used it one time and then resold it to play it again. So he got a nice deal on that. Um. He also informed us that it, Jimmy Howard was not his favorite player. It was actually oh. a guy w- older than that. So some of our uh, younger listeners might not know who this is. Tony Esposito uh, was an, uh, a Hall of Fame goalie for the Blackhawks. Um, and he wore number 35. And that's who Brendan's uh, favorite player was, not Jimmy Howard. That was our mistake. So we'd like to retract yeah. retract that, apologize to Brendan, uh, and obviously uh, inform everyone that it was in fact tony esposito yeah. a sincere tune talk apology absolutely and we don't do those often I, it's mostly just tim apologizing to uh tyler's dad doug for calling him out on the pod <laughs> which speaking of doug 
look perfect at that. segue. That's a, prof- that's a professional segue right there. Yeah. We're at, as this is our last episode of November, I guess this is actually coming out December 2nd, but um, little, little Movember, little toony, little toon stash. I think he, he's an inspiration. Oh, oh absolutely. In more, in more ways than one, but that, that caterpillar he's got up there and there's some of those, I mean, Tim is yours is actually a fake Fu Manchu though. I guess I, I did. Didn't, I, I guess I didn't realize that till now. I tried to grow it out a little bit for the, the Halloween costume. Um, you know, you got the yellow, yellow hair dye. So it's where's the costume at? <laughs> that's, I thought that's just what you wore on the weekends. Uh, sometimes that's his casual, his casual get up. That's my casual uh, get up, brother. Same, same with, same with reader. That's what, that's what reader <laughs> wears on the weekends too. I think that's from his wedding. That's his actual wedding picture. Oh, nice. Casual wedding. I like that. Yep. Uh, pre uh, honeymoon. So it was pre tan. Oh, obviously. obviously, obviously. And then, I mean, timing wise, Adam skates with the Sunday and. That's a great, that's a great picture of Adam. I got to say. He looks like a pedophile. <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> eh, you know, you're, you're not, you're not wrong. That's a solid. Yeah. You know, we can't all look like Doug Barassa, you know. There's a, there's a spectrum. You got Doug Barassa and you got pedophile Adam. It is what it is. Yeah. Like playing with fire, you know? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, just, just an inspiration. I can't say it enough. Um, Garrett, I think you had something you wanted to go over with us, right? Absolutely. So I, unfortunately, as we all know, missed the last two weeks of the <laughs> podcast. So one of the uh, segments. Oh, didn't even I- notice. Yeah, I know. It's tough, you know, it's tough. I try to keep the glue that, you know, keep this thing going. And I'm surprised you guys were able to pull it off. So I noticed the show's been a lot smoother since you were gone, but please continue. All right. Anyway, so the the All-Star Super Draft, thought that was probably the, my personal favorite the last two weeks. So what I- That was fun. Yeah, yeah. When I did my spare time is I went through and I created each of those four teams, you know, five players on each. uh, And I watched every single game. Because I couldn't actually just sim it. I had to actually sit and watch uh, every game. So <laughs> if you want to throw the – yeah, if you want to throw the, the, the rosters up now. Yes, be I will. Okay. So I just did a double elimination. So first game was Connor versus Tim. The standout in that game was Jack the Chimp with two goals and a mm-hmm. final score of four to three. <laughs> yeah, my boy. And then an Ian versus Tyler, one to two in overtime. Oh, Olgi Oglethorpe with the overtime banger. Uh, so first, uh, <laughs> dude, it was, uh, it was, it was intense to watch. <laughs> but anyway, so the first elimination game, Tim and Ian, Ian won three to one. Uh, Derek Thompson, AKA the rock. Uh, yeah, the tooth fairy. <laughs> yeah. He, he had a solid game. I think he scored one and had a, had a fight. <laughs> that was fun to watch. Of course. Yep. So then uh, back in the regular tournaments, Connor beat Tyler three to nothing. Uh, Jack the Chimp with another two goals. Wow. (laughs) My six round picks got four goals in two games. Making these characters like some of them, like I didn't, I'd never seen the, uh, what's the one with the rock? Uh, The tooth fairy. So I'm just like creating him off the rock. I just Google height and weight for the rock. So that is his. There's like a couple clips here and there. And I'm like, okay, this is going to be super aggressive. Have a you know big slap shot, blah, blah, blah. You know, just kind of like create them off that. Uh, mm-hmm. For the Goody tunes, I took the ones that were on our Twitch. So that's, you know, kind of evens out that way. So yep. they're competitive. Right. Uh, but the, the fun part was creating the players that were imaginary. So for Jack the Chimp, uh, he was as, sl- as small as I could get, but as fast as I get. So he was a solid, what was it? I think it was like, five six and 130 pounds <laughs> and he like the first uh, the first goal was hit and the whole thing was him and he had a breakaway and it was just like <laughs> I, did not expect that. I just expected him just to get tossed around but jack the chimp was an early uh league mvp candidate um so yeah so connor beat tyler three to nothing that one and then tyler knee in play again ian won uh Four to one, but there were two empty net goals. So Tyler was eliminated. 
Uh, Connor McDavid, or no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Ogie Oglethorpe played solid in that one, but, you know, Ian came back, won that one. So first game of the, uh, the championship, Connor and Ian, two to one, Ian. Oh, oh wow. Yep. Did Jack uh, the Chimp uh, score my one goal? No, Adam Banks did. Ah, my boy. There it is. <laughs> so, uh, goes to the, you know, both teams had one elimination or one loss. So the final score and Connor and Ian, a blowout. Connor, you won. And by you won, I mean your character won because he was Ian's pick. Oh, oh. <laughs> God, brutal. <laughs> I take it back. That was Tyler's pick, but either way, Ian beat you four to nothing. <laughs> oh, Patrick Wallet in four goals. Yeah, I was. That's brutal. Yep. I, I, I you know, it, Ian got Wayne Gretzky in the fourth round. Like I, I you know. Well, and one thing too. So he, Ian got or uh, Wayne Gretzky got injured by t- in the second time he played Tyler. So he, so they, I would have like the five guys that would play and no line changes, but because he got injured, he actually didn't play. So just some random guy, like a 70. <laughs> people pull off the win. I was like, huh, all right then. You didn't turn think- injuries off? No, I wanted it to be real. Cause you know, like Tyler built a team around thugs. So I'm like, Hey, that's true. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. That's thugs, very fair. You know, fair enough. So but I think I- everybody's kind of wondering. And the scores, the only ones that was a blowout was that last game. Like one game went to overtime four to three with Tim and Connor the first. You know, it was it was actually kind of fun to watch. So, I, Ian, congrats! The uh, inaugural All Star Super Draft champion, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> for now, for now. Yeah. What are you say, uh, I I think uh, everybody's kind of wondering though, like how John Wayne do. Uh, <laughs> no one, no one, no one was wondering that. <laughs> funny because when when i was going through their stats for him he was actually one of the better ones i think he was in like the low 90s just the way it worked out like like <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean just the way it worked out you were what? making all why of are them. you surprised we've seen the <laughs> clip of him cutting around the net this is grit okay what are the stats is grit john Wynn is 99 grit <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't, i've made creative players in nhl a 99 grit doesn't increase the overall that much and shit like that but either way he uh my understanding based on the 10 seconds i saw in that movie that you guys showed last week and my understanding of john wayne in general he's at like a 92 i think yeah <laughs> you gave john wayne a night you made him a 92 that's just the way it worked out most i don't think think the lowest was i don't even know who it was but it was all like i think the highest was probably like a 93 and then the lowest is probably like 85. So, I mean, it was all relatively tight. Wayne Gretzky wasn't higher than a 93? No, no, no. The guys I created. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, if, if it was uh, like a Wayne Gretzky or a current NHLer, I was able to just pull them off the rosters that's included in the game. Gotcha. Now, I'm not for sure. I guess it probably hasn't been confirmed, but has John Wayne and Wayne Gretzky ever been seen in the same room? <laughs> Because I'm wondering if it's John well, Wayne Gretzky. Investigative reporting on that. <laughs> yeah, we might we might need to circle back to that next week. Do a little bit of a do a little deep dive and see. That's a that's a good point, Tim. Boy. And and, and speaking of John Wayne, um, so after we do that episode, I don't know if we told the story on the podcast, but uh, I'm like, I wonder if I can buy Idol of the Crowds. So I look on Amazon, and uh, where we get done playing, we're drinking, and I'm looking on Amazon. And I was like, oh, sweet. I, f- I thought I found it. So I purchased it. Well, come to find out, I did not purchase it. I purchased. I woke up sober Monday morning. Yeah, I purchased <laughs> a John Wayne movie collection. <laughs> and it finally came. And Idol of the Crowds is not in that collection. It is correct? not in there. <laughs> we got John Wayne and Lawless Frontier. Um, I can't read the middle one. And then John Wayne Sagebrush Trail. So if wow. anybody's interested, I bought it for $7.95 on Amazon. I'm willing to sell it for like I'll let it go for 21 bucks. Wow. That's generous of you. If you sign yep. it, you could probably get more than that. I'm not I'm not trying to get rich off of it. It's well, still sealed. If you if you signed it and then we auctioned it off and we, and we could go we could uh, auction it off for the Goonie Tunes, it's that's got a good sto- point. it's got a story behind it. 
Yep, that's a very good point. Title, Eat Your Raw Meat, Kid, Tim Lewis. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Garrett, thank you for doing that. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. We and appreciate thank you for your service. Oh, oh my pleasure. So real quick, I did the MVP for each team. Connor, Jack, the chimp, Tim, Connor McDavid, uh, Ian, the rock, or what was it? Derek Thompson. And then uh, Tyler uh, Oglethorpe. Oge Oglethorpe. Just based on what I saw, what I like to see, you know, some grit. How long did this whole process take? So two weeks. The whole process just watching the games. <laughs> The whole, like making the players, watching the games, everything. A couple days. You know, like I'd sit down, I'd like make two or three players. Um, you know, I didn't get real deep into like teams. I just made sure they had different jerseys so I know who I was looking at. Um, but like today was probably the longest. Like I sat down probably from, eh, we'll say, actually no, it was yesterday. It was last night. So we'll say about four hours. Oh, okay. Not bad. Yeah watching games and especially you know one of the that final game between you and uh ian so extra game extra hockey no complaints here no yep i'll get him next time but it was fun looking I'm forward glad. to next time. yeah we'll we'll have to do something like that again we have a couple uh a couple more guests okay. on maybe yeah. maybe do uh do a little playthrough where we each play as our own teams and do like a whole mm. whole stream tournament something like that yeah. that might be uh might be like a christmasy or maybe even after that if we're yeah, like fill, fill an episode or doing something like that. That could be fun. Anything else? What do you got? Um, missing no, two I got uh, go for it. Yep, that, that's what I was saying. That, that was my penance for missing two weeks. So yeah, no, that's I like it. That was that was good. Um, I don't know if you're forgiven, but I appreciate the attempt. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, we, you know, kind of going back to our game Sunday, it was close two to one loss. Um, Halfway through the game, you know, Tyler was playing center, but skate issues or something. I who knows. Um, what's, it, what's the line in Zoolander where he says, uh, "I'm not an Omni Turner. <laughs> I can't turn left." That was that was Tyler on Sunday night. He couldn't turn left. Well, we were looking at like changing up the shorten up the the bench a little bit as much as not shorten it up, but like switch it around the third period. And that would have been having Connor and Tyler play center. <clears throat> moving back and selfish selfish hockey yep selfish hockey all you know through and through but he was like nah i can't do it <laughs> i can't turn left he goes i can't turn left my blades my he goes i just I got on the ice he goes, I, I just got him sharpened and my I, my I lost an edge and i can't turn left and so and i don't know what gives because when we skated that tuesday before he comes in with his nahl combine shirt oh yeah trying to prove trying to act like he was somebody at some time yeah, the NAHL is like the the Nor Nal, the North American Hockey League or something like that. Nah, yeah. I don't know, whatever. I mean, just so you know, Tyler, I could go on sideline swipe and find one for 13 bucks. <laughs> why do you why do you know that? Because I almost bought it. You should have. <laughs> I you've still got, might. You, you've got your comp you wear black jersey that you wear at every drop in. <laughs> Making people think you played for a triple A travel team in Detroit. <laughs> And you take one step on the ice and like, oh yeah, he got that at play it again, which is yeah, exactly that was my solid three dollar yeah. pickup at play it again. <laughs> yeah, he, he need, needed a black jersey, so we got a CompuWear one. You didn't know what CompuWear was when you bought. No, that, absolutely right? not. Yeah, okay, all right, that checks out. That checks out. Yeah, well, the computer company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll kind of end it on uh, so uh, on this note. So last week we're kind of sitting here and. I, I put my leg, you know, I kind of crossed my legs while doing the podcast or whatnot. And I got the biggest cramp in my leg, like doing the podcast. I'm like, there is no way I can tell, I can tell you guys right now that I'm getting a cramp doing a podcast sitting on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm like trying to stretch my leg and, you know, not make it noticeable. Boy, oh boy. We, we joked about maybe having to do a 35 and over Goonie Tunes team and then an 18 and over Goonie Tunes team. And that is slowly but surely becoming more and more likely. <laughs> We're cramping up during Tune Talk. We might need to have that conversation sooner rather than later. Groin injury. <laughs> yeah. You're going to pull a groin doing a podcast. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, all right, boys. Anything else? 
No, check out the Instagram. Lots of good uh, tune memes on there. Yeah, I know you post there pretty much every day, right? They're pretty uh, close. Here and there. Yeah. That, you know, make it and tag us in that Instagram. So make your own tune meme. Yeah. Make your own tune meme? <laughs> no, You're such a boomer. Holy shit. <laughs> well, that's Holy the hashtag. Shit. The hashtag is hashtag tune memes. <laughs> hashtag tune meme. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that 35 and older older team is definitely <laughs> happening next year. Holy or my shit. bad. It's, it's number sign tune memes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. All right. Thank you to everybody for listening. As always, uh, we appreciate it. We love all you guys. Give a shout. Give, give us a shout out if you see us. Um, and we will talk to everybody next week. Go Goonie Tunes. Yep. See ya. Uh-huh.